got the information from uh, the UCMR uh, for the phase two from the Walker report. Uh, we got them, the UCMR asked for some more information uh, before they'll execute the contract with us. So once we got everything good with them, we got to go back to the Federal Land Water Conservation Fund for their approvals. So once we get all those in order, we can proceed with the project. So we're, we're waiting for feedback from the PCNR and the Land and Water, Water Conservation Fund in order the Federal Park Service. Next item, uh, 2016 Paved Maintenance Program. We opened bids last uh, Thursday, April, 6th, April 7th. We've got 11 bids, ranging from $191,280 to $0.75 to $238,000. Three hundred thirty dollars and fifty-five cents. There's a good, good spread of uh, bids. Um, scope of work is Harding Street from West End Road to Terminus, with which fifty percent of the cost is being paid by Pennsylvania American Water Company. Forbes Street from Harding to Coolidge, again fifty percent of the cost is being paid by Pennsylvania American Water. And then we've got uh, Union Street from Bower to Block Intersection to Terrace Street. So the low bidder was Alex Paris. So we got about $191,280.75. and I ask that you uh, make a motion to uh, award the project to them. I will say this, uh, they came in under my cost estimate of $197,508.75. So I was glad to see that. And I think it also helped that we had such a uh, good representation of bids. And there's a lot of interest in the project. So I'm going to a motion on the agenda for that. Uh, 2000, something happened here. 2015 payment maintenance. Uh, we'll see once we get things uh, going down to the way of weather, we'll get the TA out there to buy on the road and make those repairs for that contract. Okay. The uh, Washington Avenue. Thank you. How far is that uh, going to be fixed? Is that just where you fix it at the wall? Or is it the whole thing? It's everything that's, that's broken up there, Bruce. I mean, no. fell. So. It's, it's going to do the whole, the whole right lane. That whole one, yeah, it's grown a little bit. Coming this way, the whole right lane. Yeah. Are, you gonna, are we going to get somebody in there to reinforce across the Lucy's old building? We've got to do that. Yeah, we'll get somebody in. Get that guy back and let him bid the thing. Sure, we can do that. We have to do that. That was
and 11 cents for work completed from February 26th through March 31st, and ask that a motion be made to place the state that's on the agenda. Um, Receive notice that uh, PennDOT's going to do resurfacing on the Coughlin Run. I believe the contract was awarded to A. Felino Construction, and uh, we reviewed the sanitary sewer work or conditions there, and there's a couple of minor repairs that need to be done, so what we're going to do is we're going to make that a change order onto the road and contract and get it all done and we'll fix it it's done. Uh, Washington and James Development, uh, we had, Lori and I had some, uh, more so Lori had communication with Dr. Roy regarding the uh, corner down there in Washington and James, sent him a letter telling him he needs to do something to backfill that foundation and get it planted with some grass so to get the fence down so it's not so unsightly. And uh, I believe he, his response was his mother died and he was out of the country. Yeah. And, and he called me. I, I talked to him last week. And he said they really want to backfill it because the engineers are going to do some more in the okay. down there. Um, how will we be if they put some concrete slabs over that so that they can get to, get, get okay. to the interior? Um, he even asked if, if there was a color that we preferred. So if you at least it's green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And those are lower than the fence. Are you sure you're not saying the fence slats? No, it's that concrete slab. It's fine. So, I... Yeah, I know. I'm thinking maybe the other one so I told him that, see that, see that, see I, that I that I would get back. Well, he said concrete slabs or a fence. Okay. So there's already a fence there, but a kind of fence that you can't see through. Which would look just as bad. As much as it's an attractive nuisance and frankly even more dangerous for the not be able to see. So and I'll, I'll get back to him to get some clarification. In fact, he talked to Lynn Holtz. I love talking to you. And Lynn can explain a little bit more what these. Okay. Because I'm not sure if he's quite clear as to what. Let me talk. Let me get Lynn a call too. Yeah, but I, I told him that a, a, a fence that you couldn't see through wasn't acceptable. No, it, you it, know, it, it just looks cleaned up. Cool. And frankly, you can just bore through eight more feet. Yeah, the earth. And from your yeah. communique, the trajectory of when they get even to application, we want to approve or put a shovel in the ground for you know half a year. Right. Well, that's it. And he, he, what, he did tell me that the they're working on the engineering work this summer, which was not what he told me the conversation that I had before. He was he was talking to me more about the fall, November, mm -hmm. but now he's telling me that the they're going to be doing the engineering work this summer. Okay. So I think it's a, a little faster case, but I, I don't think anything's going to go there this year. I don't think it's going to That's pre-application engineering. Right. Right. So, so he's, not, right. he's not anywhere close to building anything. So we're probably six months to a year before you can see something coming up out of the ground there. I think we're better off to talk to Lynn. Yeah, we'll, we'll get around. I, I talked to Lynn the first time, and he's, his comment to me, which is his developer, uh, called on the rule. So I called up the board. Well, I guess they must be on the same page again. Okay. So, you know. And he, he said they he wanted to hold it off because his engineers wanted to do like core samples or something. Yeah, there's no reason why. He didn't want to backfill it. Can they tell we, him to do his engineers to do his core samples and then backfill yeah. it? Yeah, we, the we, yeah, we can try that. Yeah, we can try We can say that we discussed it in. We can do that all within 30 years. Yeah, yeah. and what he's proposing is unacceptable. Right. He needs yeah. to do something. He needs to do something. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not in, in the it's grand scheme of what a big, um, you know, what a big project it is, what we're asking, it is pretty small. Right. Right. So, right. And then the last thing I have is the Chartier Street, Washington Avenue, and, and the Chartier Street Bridge intersection. We had a task force, force meeting on March 31st in which Newberry made a commitment to provide, provide additional funding for the improvements as a result of their discussion with PennDOT. Um, PennDOT has requested a meeting to be held with all parties involved in early May. Uh, so, so since the state budget has been passed and the funding has been released, so we're hoping that meeting will help move along the projects and uh, schedule to be developed. And it was kind of what I took out of the year. Mike, it was very positive. It was very positive. So, uh, we actually have something that's got to do the most. 